What's going on guys? Welcome back to a new review. Today we're going to take a look at the Bluedio T2 Plus headphones. How bad can $25 Bluetooth headphones really be? Let's find out. Do you guys want to win a free pair of Bluedio vinyl headphones? All you have to do is subscribe and turn on notifications and you'll be updated once I reach 1000 subscribers and release my 1000 subscriber video giveaway. I'll be giving away three of these headphones worth £70 each so make sure you guys smash the subscribe button and the notification bell. I have the white version for review and in my opinion they look rather cheap. The white of the ear pads does not match the white of the plastic, making the ear pads look almost dirty. All of the words on the ear cups just make them look a bit tacky and honestly these headphones look like a toy. There is plenty of branding on them too which I don't really think was necessary. You can also see there are silver accents on the headphones however it makes them shiny and the shiny surface is easily scratched. These are the Bluetooth headphones, so there are controls on the right ear cup, which is almost expected for Bluetooth headphones. The controls consist of scan, mode, power and volume play pause button. Since these are the plus model, a little nice inclusion is the micro SD card slot for playback via those means. Overall the look of the headphones is subpar and they honestly look cheaper than they actually are, and they're very cheap in the first place. The design is okay, however and I really like the variety of buttons on the right ear cup. The cups of these headphones swivel. I think it's for DJ use, although Bluetooth themselves never stated this. The headband is adjustable for larger or smaller heads, and the ear pads are replaceable if they ever get a bit worn out. Coming in at just around $25, you shouldn't really expect much from these headphones in any area, especially the build quality. The housing is completely made from plastic. It's not the premium rubberized material either. A benefit of this is that they are lightweight, making them portable and ideal for public transport. The leather is obviously fake however, for this price it seems to be of decent quality and is soft to the touch. A massive surprise is that the expandable headband arm is solid metal, making it really fit for the job and I don't think it will snap anytime soon. The swivel of the DJ Stog ear cup is relatively smooth, although I have heard some stories of it loosening over time. In my opinion, the build quality is not good. But it's not that bad either, that is for the price. They only feel like cheap headphones however, you should only expect a basic build at this price. Comfort is another area where the T2 Plus just does quite well. The ear pads are on ear, however they are well padded and didn't clamp my head too much. One thing that we don't usually see at this price point is the padding on the headband. This is soft and has ventilation holes in it, so it can absorb sweat and your head can breathe. This totally removes any possibilities of getting a hot spot on the top of the head and the fact that these headphones just weigh 222 grams is a massive plus. Overall these headphones are pretty comfy and you can wear them for many hours without experiencing any fatigue. Pairing is mega simple, all you have to do is hold down the power button until a voice says pairing and then you'll find the headphones on your Bluetooth list on your device. It couldn't really be any simpler to be honest. On a side note, I really like having a voice prompt. It enables visually impaired people to understand what button they're pressing. Right, let's move on to the good part, the sound quality. The T2 Plus packs a serious punch for just $25. The bass is impactful and warm sounding. Perfect for rap music. It may not be the most controlled and detailed, but I wasn't surprised that it lacked detail and nor should you to be honest at this price point. The mids are quite clear and the instruments can be told apart from one another. Vocals sound smooth and relaxing, not harsh in any way. The higher frequencies contain enough detail and sound quite sweet with treble heavy music. This is because the headphones treble rolls off a little early giving a smooth, sweeter and less harsh presentation. If you're not an audio person, then in short, the T2 Plus sound fantastic for the price. No, they won't rival the likes of Sennheiser and Bear Dynamic, however they can battle beats and come off better. In conclusion, I recommend these headphones to most people watching this video. They're just an awesome budget option that can happily put up a fight against much more expensive headphones. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed, please smash the like button, subscribe and turn on notifications. Remember, I'm doing a giveaway. See you guys in the next one.